Welcome to NCS Extra Credit. I'm Marla Zerlo, and today I have with me Keely Bindas, attorney liaison here at NCS. Welcome, Keely. Thank you. We are going to discuss lien on leasehold interest. Um, sometimes the entity that contracts for the improvement on a piece of property isn't necessarily the fee owner of the property. So knowing who the landlord is and the tenant may be just as important as knowing who the general contractor is. So Keely, tell me, what is exactly a lien on a leasehold interest and how does it differ from a mechanics lien on real property? Well, a mechanics lien usually by, provides better enforcement opportunities. However, in a tenant or a leasehold situation, if the tenant contracting for the improvement wants to maintain their lease, a lien against the leasehold interest may be an effective tool to prompt payment. So if the lien against leasehold interest is enforced, the tenant could lose their lease. How would I know if my project is a leasehold situation? In most cases, lease information is not public knowledge. However, you may be able to get a copy of the lease because you're working on the job. So for example, some big box retail stores own the property that the store sits on. However, some don't. They have a lease with the actual property owner. So if you can get a general contract and it shows the store contracted for the work, that will be helpful in moving forward to protect your rights. What if um, I'm in a situation where I file my mechanics lien and I don't necessarily know that it is a leasehold situation? How would that impact my lien? In some states, you can simply file your lien against the property and it will filter down to any leasehold interest that may exist if the fee owner isn't responsible for the improvements. However, in other states, there are some other factors that come into play, so it is important to know upfront if there's a lease situation. For example, a separate lien filing may actually be required. So it may also be necessary to pull a copy of that lease in order to obtain the tenant information as well as the agreement between the fee owner and the tenant in order to know who's responsible for the improvements. Okay. What if um, I'm told that I have a project and the owner is a private entity, but I think it really is a public entity? Does this leasehold impact that? It can. Yeah. Uh, we've seen many projects where the city, county, or state actually owns the land but they've provided a lease to a third party who happens to be a private entity. So although a lien against the property isn't available on public land, a lien against leasehold interest may be something that we can look at. Okay, great. So really the takeaway from this session is if you have a leasehold situation, um, try to figure that out up front because the states might have varying requirements on what you have to do to protect your rights in a leasehold situation. Absolutely. So whether multiple liens may be required or whether the tenant needs to be served with your preliminary notice, it's just good to be aware of the possibility. Right. And again, since this information isn't necessarily public record, um, when I'm filling out my project information sheet or collecting my job information, perhaps asking for the lease, uh, copy of the lease up front, or figuring out if this is, um, if the property is owned by a fee owner or if it is a tenant situation, again, trying to figure that out up front will only help me the back side. Absolutely. The more you can tell us up front, the better we can provide your options. So if you're working on a mall, retail space, or even an industrial office area, ask others who are working on the job. They may have that information they can provide. And as always, if you can get a copy of the lease, the better you'll be. Great. Well, thanks, Keely. You're welcome. This concludes today's session of NCS Extra Credit. Thanks for joining us, and we certainly welcome your feedback. So please call us or email us. Um, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks again. Thanks.